Hello friends, today we will talk about animals that are only found in Australia on Earth, Australia, located in the Southern Hemisphere, with its capital Canberra and its largest city Sydney, is the smallest continent on Earth. This small continent's unique natural wildlife includes many mammal and reptile species that are not found elsewhere. Let's take a closer look at the seven animals living in Australia, the world's smallest continent. 1. Kangaroo Kangaroos, considered the symbol of Australia, inhabit vast territories on this continent. These animals, which are predominantly herbivorous, are especially famous for their large size, particularly the red kangaroo species. They are known not only for their hopping but also for living in social groups in open landscapes and grasslands. There are various species of kangaroos, each found in different habitats. Kangaroos can be found in various habitats, but they are often seen in open fields, meadows, and savannas. Red kangaroos, in particular, live in hot deserts. Kangaroos are herbivores and primarily feed on grass. Their long, slender tongues and sharp front teeth are excellent adaptations for cutting and eating grass. They can also efficiently use water, so some species need less access to water sources. One of the most recognizable features of kangaroos is their long hind legs, which they use for hopping. These hops are used for rapid movement and escaping danger. Some species can hop at speeds of up to 60 km per hour and cover long distances in a single leap. Kangaroos are marsupials, carrying their young in pouches. Female kangaroos carry and nurse their young in their pouches and can even have another baby waiting while nursing one. This increases their reproductive efficiency. 2. Koala Koala is an iconic marsupial species found only in Australia. These cute creatures are known for sleeping in trees and primarily feeding on eucalyptus leaves. Koalas have low energy dietary habits and spend a significant portion of their time resting. An adult koala is approximately 60-85 cm long and weighs between 4-15 kg, with males being slightly larger than females. Koalas have round faces with big, round eyes, large noses, and round ears. Their fur is gray and has a dense texture. Koalas have five-fingered front paws, each with sharp claws that help them grip onto tree branches. Their hind feet are often fused with two digits, adapted for climbing and balancing. The breeding season for koalas varies but generally occurs from September to March. Females typically reach reproductive maturity at around two years of age. The gestation period is approximately 35 days, and usually, a single joey is born. The joey continues to develop in the mother's pouch and is nourished by her milk. After about six months, it emerges from the pouch and clings to the mother's back to explore the outside world. The joey remains dependent on the mother for about a year, continuing to receive her care. 3. Thorny Devil Thorny devils are rare egg-laying mammals native to Australia. Their bodies are covered in sharp spines, which serve to protect them from potential predators. These spines also help insulate their bodies against extreme hot and cold weather conditions. An average adult thorny devil measures about 20-24 cm in length. Their skin coloration typically ranges from brown to yellow or reddish brown, helping them blend into their arid environments. One of their most distinctive features is their crowns of spines on their heads and bodies. These spines are surrounded by a network of capillaries, allowing them to collect water from dew and rain. Thorny devils are adapted to desert life and are found in the arid regions of western and central Australia. They primarily inhabit sandy and stony deserts. Thorny devils are solitary creatures that feed primarily on ants. They use their specialized tongue to capture ants and termites, which are their primary food source. These lizards have an impressive ability to extract moisture from the bodies of the insects they consume. Thorny devils are known for their slow and deliberate movement, making them well-suited to their desert habitats. During the breeding season, male thorny devils display territorial behavior and engage in combat for access to females. Female thorny devils lay a single egg, which they bury in a shallow nest. They may lay multiple eggs in a season. The female guards the nest and provides protection for the developing embryo. Once hatched, the young thorny devils are independent and must fend for themselves. 4. Platypus The platypus is a unique and fascinating mammal native to Australia. They are best known for their duck bill, webbed feet, and ability to lay eggs despite being mammals. Platypuses have a streamlined body covered in waterproof fur, which makes them excellent swimmers. They are typically about 30-45 cm in length. 
Male platypuses are generally larger than females. Their fur is dense and has a brown coloration. Their bill is flat and rubbery, resembling that of a duck, and their webbed feet are well suited for swimming. Platypuses are primarily nocturnal, spending their days resting in burrows or hiding spots along riverbanks. They are excellent swimmers and can stay submerged for several minutes while hunting for food. Platypuses are known for their electrolocation abilities, which allow them to detect the electric signals produced by the muscles and nerves of their prey. This is particularly useful for finding small aquatic creatures like insects, worms, and crustaceans. Platypuses are solitary animals and are rarely seen in groups. Mating season for platypuses occurs from June to October, and males compete for the attention of females. Females typically lay one to three eggs and incubate them by curling around them. After about 10 days, the eggs hatch, and the mother continues to care for her young by nursing them with milk produced from mammary glands. Young platypuses are weaned at around four months of age and become independent. 5. Wallaby Wallabies are part of the kangaroo family but are smaller in size. There are various species of wallabies and they are mostly found in forested areas. Some species are active during the day, while others are nocturnal. Wallabies come in different sizes depending on the species. The most common ones are the agile wallaby and the red-necked wallaby. Different species inhabit different habitats and have different feeding habits. Wallabies typically give birth to one joey at a time, and the joey grows in the mother's pouch. Joeys are protected in the pouch and nourished by the mother's milk. Even after leaving the pouch, they continue to stay with their mothers for some time. 6. Flying Squirrel Flying squirrels are graceful mammals that are active at night and can glide between trees. While they can't truly fly, they glide through the air with ease using the skin membrane between their limbs. This adaptation allows them to move easily through their arboreal habitats. Flying squirrels are found across various regions from Asia to Australia. They are known for their ability to glide from tree to tree, which they achieve through a special skin membrane. Their bodies are adapted for a life high in the trees. They are typically small in size and have soft, dense fur. Flying squirrels have large, black eyes that help them see in low-light conditions. They are arboreal animals, spending most of their lives in trees. Flying squirrels build nests in tree cavities or construct leafy platforms. They are omnivores and eat a variety of foods, including fruits, nuts, insects, and even small bird's eggs. These squirrels are known for their agility in the treetops and their unique gliding ability. They glide by extending their limbs, allowing the membrane to stretch and catch the air, which enables them to glide for considerable distances. Flying squirrels are typically solitary animals, and communication between them is primarily through vocalizations and scent marking. During the breeding season, males may engage in territorial disputes to gain access to females. Female flying squirrels give birth to litters of two to seven young, which are cared for in nests in trees. 7. Tasmanian Devil Tasmanian devils are known for their wild and aggressive behavior. These carnivorous marsupials are endemic to the island of Tasmania and are approximately the size of a small dog. They have black fur with a distinctive white patch on their chest, which extends from their heads to their tails. They also have white spots and dark markings on their backs. Tasmanian devils have large heads with powerful jaws and sharp teeth, allowing them to easily crush bones and meat. Their aggressive behavior is most apparent during feeding, where they use their strong jaws to tear apart their prey. Tasmanian devils are known for their loud and eerie screeches, especially during feeding or when engaged in disputes with other devils. The Tasmanian devil population has significantly declined, particularly a century ago, due to a contagious cancer known as devil facial tumor disease that is spread among wild devils. This disease has severely reduced their populations and posed a significant threat to their survival. However, recent conservation efforts and wildlife rehabilitation programs have helped increase their numbers.